Right, guys, so I finally set up a domain that I can use. What you'll see now, if you've been following this series, I've actually changed the domain to zoho1trial.com, which is where you can go to get your Zoho One trial. I set the other videos up on the happy-me.com domain, but it had been used on another account and it caused issues. And rather than me wait for that to be freed up, I'm just going to dive in. I will still do it as a Happy Me company, which is my company, but I'm going to for now start on this zoho1trial.com. So I'm at this place where I've verified and I want to turn on mail hosting. Um, so would you like to associate Zoho mail account with Zoho One? Once you associate mail with Zoho One, you can manage the mail related settings of users and groups in Zoho One. So I'm going to enable the application. Uh, you may not re be receiving emails. The MX records of your domain are not pointed to Zoho. So you need to configure your domain, right? Which is cool because you're going to have to do that anyway. Now, oh, I'm going to have a problem here because uh, I'm pretty sure uh, I've already used my phone number. I'm going to pause you. Right, guys. I've just recorded past that point. The issue I had before was that my mobile device is already associated with another um, de uh, account, with my main account. I went through that part. I put in another number, verified it, got everything working, did the recording for the whole setup, set up and proved everything was working, and then the recording program screen flow crashed and I'd lost it. So at this point, I'll try and find a... a I've got another... Um, recording where I'm going through the setup. I will drop that in here and hopefully you'll see the actual wizard working. After that, I'll come back to this and show you how to do it if you've already gone past that bit. So it's an annoying thing with this training that I can only do something one time and if, if I do something wrong or if the um, recording craps out, I can't redo something that I can only do once. So stick with me. I'm going to try and find the actual step-by-step -step, uh, recording how to do it and show you it going forward. All right, so I had to use my dad's mobile number. He just walked in the house as, uh, as I did it. So it's, I used his mobile to, to uh, get the verification code. So now it's happy. Uh, so if you ever need to log in or reset your password, you need to send that to that, to that phone. So I will have to remember I did it to his phone. That is only because I have a Zoho account with that number, which Zoho, if you're watching, fix it. Right, so continue. So first thing it's going to say is what email do you want to... Um, do you want to send it from? So provide a desired email. You can have more than one under one user. You can send from different places. You can, it gets a bit funky, but you can. So am I going to send it as club at Happy Me Sports or team or admin? Whatever you want to, is it info at? I'm going to use team. I like team. Team at happymesports.com, right? Create account. Uh, add users, you can add lots of users at once. Obviously, we're only using one user in this um, area. Create groups, we're not going to do that for now. Configure email delivery. So we're back to that GoDaddy DNS settings, right? So I've got to make my MX records match this. Okay, so back to GoDaddy. Log in again, my domains, and... Go to Happy Me Sports, down to DNS. Again, uh, if you're struggling with this, let me know what you're struggling with, and I will try to give you some separate um, videos for your your uh, area. So what I'm going to do is MX. So I'm going to do a host, uh, an MX record with a host name of at an um, an address of. Uh, mx.zoho.com and a priority of 10. So what I do is I go add, I go mx, host of at, paste in mx.zoho.com, priority of 10. TLS, TTL you can probably just leave, but uh, I do. So now I've got to do another one. So if you look here, now I'm doing mx2, 
of a priority of 20. So mx at mx2 and a priority of 20. Yeah, save. Now we're in verification uh, world again. Choose your domain provider, generate, oh. Uh, generic instructions too. So if you if you've got these different ones, it's going to show you. So I'm GoDaddy. It's going to show me exactly what I should have done, and it's going to give me a video that I didn't want it to jump out on, uh, and show me exactly how to do that. Right. So, but I've done it. So no MX found for the domain. So it hasn't taken yet. So when it's going to take five or ten minutes for that to go through. And these are the places where you'll slow you down. And uh, but you must delete, remove or delete. Oh, so you have to delete any other one. So if it's set anything up, you're going to need to delete it. If you've got any other MX records, obviously I've got a brand new domain. This is also where you need to be careful. You cannot host emails on Google G Suite or emails at GoDaddy or emails at a different server and then host another email on um, Zoho One. You can only host it on one place. So this is the only email you will be able to have with this domain, and it'll all be up operated from Zoho One. So you need, to, you need to understand that, and eventually I guess it will go through, but I'm not going to hang about for it. I'm just going to add that area. Then he says, um, email spooling and blah, blah, blah. You need to add a text a text um, record in there to allow Zoho to send emails uh, as different emails, I believe that's what it's for. So you go to domain, you go to at, this time it's a text, at, put in that, paste in that, VF, BF, BF, one. Is there, is there a gap between that? Yeah, there is. And again, you may want to put this at six minutes just because it'll take faster, but. I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure the initial setup. It matters how long you put there. I don't think it takes an hour to set up. It takes an hour if you change it later. Uh, so that's that section done. Uh, in addition to wherever you are, can add a DKM signature for your domain to ensure better on email deliverability. deliverability. So we're going to proceed to do this bit and DK admin. Right, we're going to do this DKIM. Um, set up. I just, I just wanted to know that you know a couple of minutes later, I've gone back now, and that MX records now set up. So before it takes you know five or ten minutes, but it does set up. So now I'm going to do proceed to configure DK uh, IM for better email delivery. It says right. There's a video down here on how to do it. What you're going to do? I don't do it that often, but I'm going to talk you through it as best I can. You're going to go up here, Happy Me Sports, that's the one. You're going to add a selector, right? And you're going to type in front of this, Zoho. Let me just make sure that that is in this thing. We're going to go here. So you click on that or edit, right? Yeah, you're going to click. Yes, yeah, so they say not able. That's, there's, no, there's no audio on this setup. You're going to go to the domain you want, add selector, and then click, type in Zoho, and save. All right, now that information, you're going to go to your GoDaddy account, open up your DNS settings. I'm not sure it says manage DNS like on that video anymore. I don't on mine, does it? And you're going to add a text line. So you're going to add TXT. You're going to put at. No, no, no this, this, you're going to show you what to put. You're not going to put at. You're going to put that top line. So where it says dot domain key dot zillium dot com, you're going to put Zoho. Now she's going to go back. I presume it's a woman. I don't know why. You know, I don't know why I presume it. And you're going to copy this dot domain key dot zillum zillum dot org, uh, whatever it says, right? So you're going to copy dot forward slash domain key, and then you're going to copy the text, 
and then paste that in there, right? I'm interested if it changes that to six. Yeah, she does. 600, right? So it'll, it'll update quicker. So, zomain.domainkey.com. Then you can check that MS, MX record against it and you should be sorted. Holy smokes. So it seems like a lot, but it is literally the last thing you need to do. So then we're going to go test it in mxtoolbox.com. Right, so let's do that. So let me go back to the beginning, if it lets me. Come on. Uh, so, right. Proceed to configure DKIM edit. Right, I'm going to, I know it's, it's the only one I've got. If you've got more than one, you do it. I'm going to type in Zoho. Right, I'm, I'm going to do it a different way. I'm going to grab this domain key and go to my domain manager, back to that DNS setting, add, add a text, add in that, but now in front of it, it's there, look, Zoho dot and then that domain key. So just put, make sure. Basically, make sure it says Zoho dot underscore domain key, right? Sorry, it's a bit confusing. I don't do this lots. You can imagine I don't have to set this up every day. Copy the text information, this value. Paste it in there. Change the TTL to 600. And save. Right, it's going to take five, six minutes to work. Verify. Verified successfully, so it's happy, right? So now I go back to setup and I'm into an email, email migration thing. Now we may or may not do that, but I will. If I, if you've got an email address that you want to import, if you're using like a Gmail account, you know, like Adwick Swimming Club here, they might want to get rid of this adwick at gmail.com and use team at, at adwick, you know, adwickmembers.com. If you want to do that, we're gonna. I'll, I'll maybe add a section later in the in a more advanced level of how to import an email um, email settings. So we'll come that to we'll come to that next. All right. So the hardest part's done. Email migration. We're going to skip uh, to a little bit later. It's more of an advanced option later on, but you can do it if you want. So I'm going to skip that. Mobile access. So. There's an app for both Android and um, iOS. Is it iOS on a thing? Yeah. Uh, and, you know, there's a, so you can upload those apps and uh, you just put in your email address and your password and it will automatically sync with it. If you get problems with that, let me know and I will do a deeper video for it. I'm going to skip it for now. Add to Zoho 1. Now, what I did is at this point it would jump you back to your account and say associate with your account i've i've done it and it's the problem with these videos is, is sometimes these video these things are a one time deal so i've already clicked it it's going to say somewhere in your account associate with your account and it'll give you that email address okay so just click associate right and configure and that's it right so that's Zoho, Zoho set up, and now I'll go into how to use it, all right? Proceed to access Zoho Mail. Right, so at that point, you will jump into your Zoho Mail, and I'm going to show you how to use your Zoho Mail in the next video when mine's all set up and happy. Sorry that I had to jump in with a different demo in the middle of that. It may have confused you, but hopefully it hasn't. Hopefully you've got through it. Any problems, we'll do a troubleshooting video. We'll do some sort of information where you can get back to and we can talk about any issues you've got. But in the next video, we'll show you how to use Zoho Mail. Apologies again, these videos are a one-time hit with some things and the technology sometimes breaks or I do something wrong. Uh, I want to show it as you're, as you're seeing it rather than how I'm seeing it now after I've done it once. So hopefully you're sorted. Any issues, leave a comment and we'll get through them. This is, this is possibly the most frustrating part of setting up Zoho One, the, the mail setup, the original domain setup and then the mail. But after that, you will be flying, I promise you.